Hey there, dailies and mental gen. It's Chad Ronius, the guy with the only correct opinion in the game. Uh, and we're going to be talking about Overwatch 2 again. I am going to give you guys my review about it. I'm going to think, I'm going to tell you about what I think about it, the good, the bad, and the ugly. So I think Overwatch 2, the gameplay is pretty decent. Oh, if you have played it, it's more Overwatch. So if you already don't, if you don't like the game, it's not really going to be much different. Uh, right now, they pretty much took out Overwatch and replaced it with Overwatch 2. The gameplay is still fine, but it's still honestly pretty janky. And then with uh, there's still a bunch of server disconnections. I've been disconnected multiple times already. The There's lag in the game where it just makes all the characters jitter around. And it's... It's kind of minor, like the jittering is kind of minor, but the disconnects aren't, and that's also leading into my other point. The disconnects in this game, like since it's a 5v5 game now instead of 6v6, the disconnects are more, like they're they're more impactful to whichever team uh, has the disconnect. <laughs> What the fuck? So when you're down 4v5, so if you lose a support, you're down one healer. And you're just going to be eating butt left and right. If the other team has another support, they'll be out healing your damage. Supports are extremely crucial in this game since there's only one tank. And that's that's just how it is. If you're, out, if you're down one DPS, you're kind of screwed because the thing is you need, to, you need both DPS to shoot the tank. Especially since the tanks are a lot more beefy than they were in the previous games. There's only one of them now. If you're down a tank, then you're just down a tank. You don't have anybody that can soak up the damage that they're supposed to. So it just makes disconnects a lot a lot worse. And that's kind of the reason why I left the first game. Uh, just a ton of people just kept disconnecting. Even like if there's just a sign of a little bit of a... Um, just a little bit of resistance from the enemy team. They would just disconnect. And that would be that way we we'd still lose the game and it's it's not fun <laughs> it's not fun for for that to happen um there's a few parts of the game that are like, extremely monetized like i looked at it again once more i was looking at the sh uh the shop for overwatch and it's they as i said before they took out a bunch of skins for uh from previous seasonal events like the lunar new year and the summer uh, event, the summer uh, games and stuff like that. And they started selling them at the store for Fortnite prices. So epics are $10. Uh, legendaries are $19. So the thing is, they're going to be giving you uh, a little incentive right there. They're going to be paying in for $20 and you are going to have $1 left over in that account. Just burning a hole in your pocket, making you want to spend just a little bit more to buy some stuff. So they take away a bunch of stuff that you already had for free. And they put it into the shop. And before, in Overwatch 1, you were able to grind and play the game, get some loot boxes. And while you opened up the loot boxes, you were able to get more cash. And you were still able to get items. Even if you didn't want to, like, even if you didn't play any other hero, you were still able to get items for those heroes. And you were still able to get cash to purchase some stuff that you'd like. Now they've replaced that system with a challenge based system. But thing is, the coins they give you are a pittance. So they have three challenges for you to complete. Uh, there are, right here it says complete four weekly challenges, complete eight weekly challenges, and complete 11 weekly challenges. The third, You get 30, 20, and 10 coins respectively, and each one is just harder and harder and harder. You only get 60 of the premium currency, and the most you need is 1,900 if you want a legendary skin, and people already did the calculations for this. This adds up to about eight months of gameplay. And you have to keep doing those challenges. You have to grind those challenges. By then, you could already birth out a baby, right? You'd be ready to go. You could already work a job. You could definitely make so much more money just doing that stuff. You like that's what they're that's what trying to incentivize you. Uh, instead of grinding out, they want you to go work your job, and they want you to put that cash inside, and they want you to purchase the uh, the skin for twenty bucks. It's just a, it feels it feels so scummy and so scammy when they do that like game like skins that were previously free voice lands that were previously free everything like that it just feels scummy they're charging they're charging cash for it and they haven't really done anything 
Also, there's also one more thing that I have another problem with. In-game, they removed the on-fire meter. Uh, the on-fire meter is like just a little thing that shows how you're doing uh, in that moment. Like the more you do save, the more you, people you heal, like more you save from death. Uh, the longer you stay on the point, the more damage you do, the more kills you get. You get fire meter, and that would go up. They remove that. They remove the visual representation from that from the game, but your character still screams out, saying like, "Oh, I'm on fire!" And it just doesn't feel as good as it used to. Like it doesn't feel as badass when you start popping off and you start kicking ass left and right you start healing your boys you see some guys about to go down they're about to die you start just you go in there you pick them back up from the um from near death and then you start getting on fire your character starts yelling out and that's pretty sick that's pretty cool but in, in this game they just removed it they said they're reworking it and i don't re i don't see why they would and then they in this game they started reworking the ui for no reason it didn't need to be fixed like the first the first iteration of the ui was pretty good it was pretty good within itself now there's so many visual issues as well so whenever you're healing somebody the health indicator is like a circle instead of just a flat bar and it's it's kind of hard to see too like there's they added so like a few th minor things that ruin just the the visibility this game is like i feel like it's harder to see in this game than it was in the first game it really feels like the the same game that I left in 2019. I stopped playing in 2019. I hopped back on in 2022. And it feels like the same game. Except there's only one less tank. And that's pretty much it. There's. There's. There's nothing else. There's nothing to warrant. The rampant. Like this. Like scummy greedy monetization. They are. They have. They're trying to re-monetize. It also like I've also seen that it starts breeding some a little bit of toxicity within the within the community as well, where there's a few players that come in that haven't played the game before that don't have things unlocked that don't have characters unlocked, and then there's gonna be people who are gonna start flaming that care person because they don't have the character they can't switch they can't choose uh, uh, any other hero that like if they needed a counter pick they weren't able to do that, and I've seen people be toxic about that too so I've I've heard people say a few gamer words already on on uh, <laughs> on a few of these games. They've said some pretty, some capital G gamer words, and nothing's really going on. Like, it's, it's literally just the same Overwatch that I remember when I left from 2019. I don't know why they did this. I mean, it's obvious why they did this. They wanted a little bit extra cash, but still. I almost forgot. They have charms. Uh, charms in this game are something that they literally did last second. If you see these images that I'm going to put up on the screen right now, they literally just have a few characters. There's characters that have weapons that are just like straight up attached to their hand. What they did is just they had charms that they're selling on the battle pass or they're selling for a little bit of cash. And they literally just stick it right on the knuckle right there on the arm. And that's it. They called it a day. And they have such shitty charms too. Blizzard is trying to do the same thing. They are trying to just get in on that apex legends money apex legends is a billion dollar company and they they're still trucking along making millions of dollars and then overwatch was kind of dying they were like not dying but they, they didn't make as much money as they'd expected when i first got the game i paid about 50 dollars into that and then i paid 50 dollars into the loot boxes and then that was pretty much it i grinded out everything else if there was an event i maybe put in about like 10 bucks see if i get a little bit just you know because I enjoyed the game back then when they were actually updating with content. And then when they stopped and they started recycling content with like events. I remember they started recycling the summer events, Lucio Ball, uh, Junkenst like Junkenstein's uh, uh, Revenge, all that type of stuff. They just kept recycling it. And then that's when I just kind of fell off. They just stopped updating it as much. It just, it's greedy. They're, you already know what they're doing. They're milking this. It's kind of lost its soul after Jeff Kaplan left, honestly. And Blizzard has been known to botch re-releases and they've done re-releases for no reason warcraft 3 forged was botched i know starcraft 2 was botched and people went back to starcraft all in all guys just to finish up my review i really think that you should you could play this game for a little bit or at least don't put in money into this game you shouldn't really start rewarding blizzard for the for their greedy practices uh the game just feels off they killed overwatch 1 and they said they're gonna there's going to be pve and PvE is not out. They've already released the game. So before anybody comes in and starts trying to defend Blizzard, I'm not going to forgive them. I'm not going to be... We have to stop being so forgiving against companies that do blatantly greedy things. 
and expect the customers who've already paid and who are still playing to just be okay with it. So on a zero to 10 scale, I think the game is mid, like five. Uh, <laughs> the gameplay is pretty decent. When it, when it gets good, it's really good. But there's the disconnections are just terrible. And that ruins the games. And that's, that's just like the main factor right there. It's a team-based game. And if you don't have stable connection, it's just not worth it. It's just, it gets, it gets annoying. And the cons for this game is the monetization. Uh, it previously used to be free, but they recently just monetized it heavily uh, just for, just for monetary gain. And looking different was also just a part of this game. So that's a really big negative. And I think that's pretty much it. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and check out my Twitch. I will be seeing you guys later.